Hello everybody, my name is Keyboard Slapper and I am back and I am playing Hotline Miami, the game I've been wanting to play so much since Eurogamer 2012, which was a few months ago. Seriously, this game stood out to me the most out of any game in that whole entire expo. Seriously, even the AAA titles, which had like millions of pounds put into them, this one stood out to me the most as it was fun, quick, stylish and the music. You can't go wrong with that, it's so atmospheric, but it feels like a, a modern pulp fiction because you can imagine walking into a club and this playing and uh, it, it's something, it's good, it's gritty, it's violent, it's, oh, it's excellent. I had a few problems with recording, I should probably mention this first. Yesterday I did record like an hour worth of footage for this and when I got it in, it fraps had cut it weirdly and it was really hard to sync it so I decided to scrap it and just play one whole level because it's so fast you really don't need to cut it so I'm going to skip out the old regular keep on cutting to make it a fast and more interesting video and I'm going to try and just talk my way through it and it's going to be quite difficult because I'm not really good at just talking on and on and on that's why I cut it because there's so many pauses and I stutter and it's oh it's awful but I'm going to give it a shot and I'm just going to show you how fast paced and difficult this game is this is a lot of trial and error you will die and die and die but basically just restart go in there again and tackle it from a completely different way and it is just really fun um, this is chapter 11 and I, I don't know what's gonna happen I've only just unlocked it so it might be really easy or really difficult this might go this might be really short or it might be uh, really long so let's find out right now I'm gonna choose my head I've unlocked a few I've got Richard which doesn't actually do anything Rasmus which uh, I think it unlocks secrets so, but I don't know because I've tried it once and I didn't say anything so who, kn who knows um, Fist of Fury with Tony the Tiger. Hey, that's nice. I'm guessing you punch better. Yeah, there you go. More guns. Yeah, more guns with the old pickhead. Uh, lethal doors. That one's quite fun because you just kill people by opening doors, which is always quite useful. Walk fast. I haven't tried that one yet, nor do I plan to. Start with a knife. That's pretty handy if you really need a weapon. Um, but the thing is, once you've chosen, you have to restart the whole level by going back into the menu to then pick another head you can't just change it after you die so you got to really think about it uh, look further which uh, gets rid of the letter boxing at the top and the bottom top and bottom of the screen that one's my best one Ted I hate dogs dogs and video games just annoy me they're just oh it's like playing example Resident Evil it was just jump on you and they're just a big old pest uh, Call of Duty where like Call of Duty 4 which is like the only one I've ever really played when they just keep jumping on you and you gotta like press the button to snap their neck but you can never get it quick enough and they bite your neck out Ugh, I'm gonna hate it um survive one bullet which is quite handy because when you get shot once you're basically dead so it if you get shot a lot, then yeah, that's good for you, but um, I like to just try and not get shot. So I like to go quite stealthy. I like to use the melee weapons. Uh, extra ammo, which again is helpful if you have guns. And rip and steal. I don't know what that is. I've only just got it. But to be honest, because I hate dogs so much, and there might be dogs in this, I'm going to go with Ted, because it's my go-to one, because the dogs just stand there. And that guy standing there with a gun pointed at the door already. All right, let's see how to tackle this. So... No, 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 punch! Oh god, there's glass everywhere! Oh, see me! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, I took down so many! But it's a shame they're all just knocked out, so I didn't actually kill anyone. Okay. Let's go again! Okay. Punch! Where's this gun? Where's this gun? What's that? No, oh, damn it! Okay, again. Punch! Grab gun. Stay. Oh, he's got a silencer on it as well. That is handy. Nope. No, you don't. Okay, you look around. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. You can use the keyboard, but I much prefer using controllers because uh, I'm a console gamer, but um, I just can't record console games, so I don't do it for the channel. Um, I'd much rather because I have a really terrible PC, so I can only run small games like this. But, uh, I mean, it does the job, but... Yeah, I think it's just a lot more fun with a controller. Um, obviously, I know a lot of people would disagree with that, but... Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, okay, so I've got this silencer, which is actually proving to be really handy. So I can take out this guy through the glass. Or not. Let's shoot him. He didn't care. All right. Let's take this and uh, let's uh, fill this guy with holes. All right, stage clear. Um, and onwards. Uh, as the game goes on, it, when it says stage clear, there's usually like another floor to go on to, which uh, adds a little extra level, I guess. 
Uh, on when you first start off, it's oh, oops. Okay. Um, when you start off, it's usually just one level missions. So stage clear, go to car. You've done it. Yeah, and you can lock on if you click in the right analog stick, uh, like that. So I've locked onto that guy, but he's in another room, so it's pretty useless. Uh, I can lock on to the guys all the way over there, so he's always pointing at them, which is really handy. You can free aim. Uh, look around, though, and I think I've mentioned that. And uh, execution moves are pretty good. So if you knock someone down, then press A on the keypad, not keypad, and um, controller, and then hit right trigger. You just keep kicking them in the face or whatever melee weapon you got. Oh, God, no, no. Oh. Uh, uh, execution move like this. One, two, three, four, five. And now he has no skill. Yeah, this game is really fast-paced. If you let it, you can just... Uh, you can just go real slow with it, which sometimes I end up doing, which I imagine is quite boring to watch. Oh, bugger. No. Nope. There we go. Hi! What? Point blank. Oh, that's another problem with this game. If you get... Well, actually, I haven't mentioned many problems, so, um, okay, a problem with this game is that if you're, say, using this assault rifle and you get too close to people, you can't shoot them. So if I say, uh, this guy, he comes at me, I'm like, right here. Okay, that's a terrible I'll hit him with a door, so... Oh, I'll hit him with a door as well. Uh, I'm just hitting everyone with a door. Okay. Oh. oh no, 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 no! Uh, uh. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, that was a terrible example, but um, basically, if you get too close, you can't actually hit them, which can be a bit of a nuisance, especially when there's someone with melee just comes around the corner, you've got a gun, because it just doesn't work. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else I really need to worry about apart from these guys right here. Oh, damn it! Uh, I always try to outrun them, and it just never works. I don't know why I keep trying. Let's get this guy. I threw the gun through the door. All right, I'll take that. See if he gets too close again. Hey! <laughs> that must be really odd if one moment your friend's perfectly alright and then the next moment his head is crushed against a photocopier. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ah, uh... oh, damn it. I'm gonna try and make this real quick. Let's see if I can rush this. Come on, one, two. Give me that. Ah, uh, thwack. There we go. Um, I said I'm going to rush this, but I really don't know how to tackle four guys with guns. Just run around here. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, I threw the glass. I was quick enough. Hi. Get any elevator. There we go. Give me the gun. Oh, that's Those guys are really awkward. Okay, let's go. Come on. One, two, three. Pick up the pistol. Let's just do this again. Okay, he's dead. Oh, he's dead, but I've just been noticed by those guys, which is going to make things awfully awkward. Can I lock on to him? There we go. Yes! Haha! <laughs> so if I take out him as well, I'm probably going to take out him first. Ah, oh, damn, those guys on the... Ah! Oh. See, I, I always think that I've got everything organised, and then I realise that I've completely forgot about one set of people. Oh, what? Oh, see, point blank, and just doesn't work. Thank you. Oh, I took a meat shield. I didn't mean to do that. Hi. Oh, damn it. Alright, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. Yep. There we go. Yep. Oh, whoops. Um, I threw my gun. I've got a lead pipe, so that's not too bad. Or a crowbar. I can't actually tell anything. It just has a bendy end. There we go. That doesn't sound wrong at all. I need a gun, though. Oh, let's just use the assault rifle and get everybody's attention. Come on, boys. This is like the cheating way of doing it, I find. You just run into it. You just attract them. It's one way of doing it, but yeah, I feel like it's really cheeky. Ah, that's the guy got me last time. Not today, boy. Oh, never go. Oh, God, no switch gun. Give me your gun, because you have more ammo. More ammo! I think we're basically sorted. Just need to get out of this guy, and then I think there's one more guy on the left, and... I think we're right. Oh, no, there's another guy down there. Okay, just him. Yeah, now he's dead. Oh, shit! No, no, no! You... Ah! Again. 
One, two, three. Let's do this quick. Come on. I apologise if I don't speak too much. It's really hard to speak and concentrate at the same time. Um, God. One, there we go. Come on. God, I'd much rather cut this. I really don't find these sort of long, just talking playthroughs right, that much entertaining. I mean, if you find it entertaining, fantastic. But every time I do it, I, oh, it's cringy, I think. Nice, there we go. Machete, win. Oh, crap. Yes, just about. There's two of them in there. I can't get in that room. I think we're going to need this. There's only two rounds, but that should do it. Crap, did that wrong. I was hoping to hit him with a door. Lock onto him. Hey, stage cleared. Okay, so where do I go next? Where do I go next? Is it in here? No, alright, so I've got to go back the way I came and go a different route. Lead pipe. Woo! Oh, okay, so it's just a different floor. That's nice. Way! Mine. Oh, windows. Always look out for windows, those little blue things right there. Because, oh, they throw me off so much. Like, they are literally the most annoying thing, because you'll just be walking past thinking everything's safe, and then, no! There's windows, and you just get your ass handed to you. I wonder if I could throw this across the table. Come on. Come on, lock on. And... Hey! Oh, there's, a gla there's glass there, though. That's a problem. Oh, you picked up the lead pipe? No, fantastic. There we go. See, I like when you throw things at them, they'll drop their weapons, and half the time they will pick up the weapon that you threw, which is much worse than the weapon they originally had, because they would usually hold, like, shotguns or something. Hey there! Hey, come on! Come on! Give me a knife. Throw a knife. Oh, useless. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, who did I attract doing that? No one! Fantastic. I'm surprised they didn't hear that, but who am I to complain? Through the glass. <laughs> oh, crap. Dip -dip. Oh, I got them both! Sweet. Come on, round the corner. Oh, a little bit of lag. A lot of lag. Did I get both of them? They're both dead. Oh, pop them in. There we go. Okay. Hey! Hey! There we go! See, that was one slightly uneventful round of Hotline Miami. Um, I, I've played ones where I've had, like, really fun moments where I've done something accidentally and it's turned out, like, really stylish, and I really like doing that sort of thing. But, uh, unfortunately, that didn't happen this time. Um, yeah, I, there was one moment where, like, I accidentally threw a knife and it bounced off the wall, hit the guy behind him, and then I managed to punch the guy who was coming at me with a knife as well. So then I took that knife and then threw that one, and that killed someone else. And it was just really fun. There's a lot, a lot of random things happen in this game, like, accidentally. Oh, and whoa! Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm going to take this guy out. This. Oh, no. Oh. Beer bottle. No, oh, damn it! Uh. Oh, damn this! Oh, there's loads of guys. Oh, what do I do? Woo! Oh shit! Why did I throw away the gun? Because you can't beat the the big, big fat guys. You can't beat them with just a melee weapon. It's impossible. Oh, damn it! Ran right into that one. I think I might. Can I just run straight for the car? Ah, stop it! I'm gonna fight. Come on! Ah, oh, damn it! This game does also have a plot, though I'm, I'm not, I, wasn't, I haven't been very good at following it, but it does have a plot. So, just in case you guys are worrying about that, there is one, but I just haven't been following it. Oh, damn, I ran into the fire! Oh! I like the way I run around as well, and then die. Very nice. Run! 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 Just stay here. Oh, they can get me through walls. That's nice. Burn knife! Take the gun! Oh, damn it. Ow. God. It's like moments like these where you realise how difficult the game really is. I've really done how I'm meant to tackle this. I'm actually surrounded by fire. Alright. Oh, damn it. What? Oh, I hate the fact that you can get through walls with those. Ow. Ow. No. No. No! 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 I tried to kill him! Sweet. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait. 
Um, I don't think that was meant to happen, and that's probably going to ruin everything for me now. Because, unless he just died then, but I'm pretty sure he just ran through the wall, and that's going to make it so I'm not able to kill him, which will really ruin things. Uh, oh, okay. Really? Oh, okay. Oh, alright, I can, I can take that. Are you alright there? Hey! Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, that's that's really sums up what this game really is. Like, it looks kind of lighthearted, and it's called Hotline Miami, so you don't really know what's going to happen, but, uh, wow. Um, so yeah, this is Hotline Miami. You can get it on Steam and multiple other, uh, actually, I say multiple other, I think there's like f two other websites you can get it from, which, uh, yeah, see, so if you really don't like Steam, you have something else to go with. I mean, who can hate Steam, though? It has so much good stuff. Anyway, this is Hotline Miami. My name is Keyboard Slapper, and I am back. I'm sorry this was really short. I did plan on doing a bigger one, but as I said, there was recording problems, so I've had to cut it down just to do one level, and I hope you've gotten the experience of what this game really is. I mean, it's just fast, violent, edgy, really stylish, it's, and I think someone, I can't remember who, described it as Pulp Fiction on Acid. And, yeah, I kind of see that. Definitely one to check out. And I remember it being quite reasonably priced. So, definitely worth it. Automatic car door. Very nice. Anyway, my name is Keyboard Slapper. This has been Hotline Miami. And I will see you next time. Now to get into the car.